how to create a sales funnel with Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you how we can actually go ahead and create our sales funnel with Shopify. Now, basically, we would want to create a sales funnel. If you don't know what a funnel is, basically, you would want to have a page which is going to receive a lot of people and then it's just going to filter them filter them down a little bit until they reach the goal and the goal being that they purchase your product so the start of the funnel the sales funnel is going to be advertising which is not something that i'm going to include here because you can do advertising your own way i'm not really going to get involved in that it's completely how you want to to create your advertising and everything but basically, um, I'm just going to give you one note is that you would want to either promote uh, with the advertising either a product or a collection. So with that, you may want to uh, create the advertising as being. So you would want to have the product in your Shopify store, obviously. So for the time being, I don't really have any products. So I just have this color red as a product. And I'm just going to add even more. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some more products just to show you what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now that I have a collection of three different products, which are going to be colors, and I named the um, the collection colors. So basically, the next step, um, next other than the advertising step, is that you want them, the people that you actually are going to lead them, you want them to land in a specific page. You can call it the landing page, product page, whatever it may be. Now, natively with Shopify, you can do this by linking it to either your product page, which is going to be the product that you have promoted with your advertising, or you can send them to a collection page, which you have also promoted with your advertising. So this is basically one way of doing so, which is going to be without any third party applications, which is sending, sending them to the page of your collection or product page. And if you don't know how to create a collection page, just from the outside of Shopify, go to your uh, theme uh, and then go to pages, create a, an empty page, name it whatever you want. I just named it colors collection and just go to the template add section. And then you would want to add a future collection uh, like so. And you would want to obviously specify which one is it. You would want to obviously rename this to color uh, collection. And then we also, if you want to add a description and so on, select collection, add this one right here. And we, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being. So let's say you want to send them to the collections page. This is pretty much how to create it. And you should have also this right here, which is going to be sus subscribed to our emails. You really need to capture their email. This is going to be a very, very, very specific step when it comes to funnels that you need to capture their email. This could be by pixels like Facebook uh, or whatever type of pixel you want to use, which is going to capture their emails. So this way you can actually contact them with many different ways with email marketing, all types of things that is going to, you know, try to always win them back, even if they leave. So if you want to send them to your collection page, you can also do so from here, or you can just send them to a specific product page that you have advertised in your advertisement. It does not really matter which page you want to send them to. It really just depends on what you told them about, whether you talked to them to, about and all of those things. Now, do not send them to the homepage or any other page in your Shopify store as that would distract them. You really just want to send them to a page that is going to showcase the things that you already talked about and also you should have something like this which is going to you may also like uh products that are going to be similar to them so upselling and so on so we need to actually set this up uh so we can just exit out of here and by the way there's another option of a page that you can send them to which is going to be a complete landing page that you can create you can create with Shopify, but you can also use third party applications. So if we just go to our Shopify app store here, we can just go to a uh, landing page builder. For example, PageFly is one of that really comes to mind here. It's the first one even, uh, but you also have more uh, landing page builders that you can actually go for. 
is going to really function the same way and this way you can just have that page as the page you want to promote and the beginning of the sales funnel but what i'm really looking for here is going to be upselling and cross selling this is something that you really need to install so you have um upcart something that really w works well for this uh, and upsell and cross sell uh sell easy here so you can just go ahead and actually install them uh, and if again you don't really if you didn't uh, catch on what this is going to be for basically you are going to send them to your product page let's say um now here's the thing you want to send them to your product page that's fine but you also can showcase other products that have similar style similar uh tags similar whatever it may be something that the other person could be interested in this way that okay they are going to buy this product that you already advertised but maybe they can also see something that they like in the the upselling and cross-selling so this is going to really promote your products even more so you can just go ahead and start your 14 day free trial here test things out or maybe even go for a completely different application it does not really matter uh, just go ahead and set up your um, upselling and cross-selling within your shopify store so for the sake of this i just installed candy rock a ra rack uh, which is also does the same thing uh, which is upselling and so on so i've just activated this so you can actually go ahead and customize this to your liking whether it's going to be candy rack or any other platform that you will be using uh, you can actually customize it to your liking and make it like make sure that it is actually going to function well and when it comes to customization here this is pretty much how it's actually going to look like almost and you know it's actually going to be uh, an enticer for people to just even though they're coming for a specific product maybe they see something that they are going to like and maybe even add it to their products or to their cart but just make sure that the products that you are upselling and so on cross-selling and so on uh, are not completely different so for example the first product uh, is going to be for pets and so on make sure that the other product that you're recommending is not shirts or something completely different or out of this world just make sure that it's something that is related to the topic of the first product that you were selling uh, and this is pretty much what you need to set up uh, and the obvious uh, page that you want them to land to when they actually begin with the, also the pixel so now we just talked about the three things that we need and it's not necessarily a pixel just try to capture their emails just think creatively on how to do so maybe it's going to be a um, discount code they enter their email and they get a discount code. You can simply uh, set that up. So that's number one, which is going to be the page, whether it's going to be product page, uh, collection page, or landing page. The second thing is going to be upselling and cross-selling. And the third thing is capturing their email with some sort of uh, and you know discount code, pixel with Facebook or Google, um, and so on. And the fourth step, which I think is the most important one, is going to be utilizing email marketing. You can just go to apps here and you can just set up your email marketing with MailChimp or Klaviyo or whatever it may be. So, for example, Klaviyo here, go ahead and install it. Just be able to really capture the people that end up in the funnel and make them always return back and even refer more people to that uh, specific thing so just go ahead uh, add with whatever uh, uh, platform you're using for email marketing and go ahead and use it for this funnel that you have now so in summary what you actually need to do again i'm just going to summarize it one more time go ahead and select whichever page that you want to have them land in so it's going to be either a product page either one of those or it's actually going to be a collection page. So you can just go to collections here, create your collection and have a page for it and send them to that page. So that's number one. Number two is going to be capturing their email, which is going to be connected with step number four. Step number three is going to be adding some sort of um, other products that you promote. So promoting other products uh, without having it in your face sort of thing. Something that is going to be uh like it's there but it's not really going to 
ruin the whole experience. It's just going to make things uh, even better for the actual customers. And lastly, it's going to be email marketing. And this is pretty much how to build your uh, sales funnel with your Shopify store. And it's going to be a very um, creative way in actually doing things uh, this way. It's just going to have a lot of people go in the first step and then it's just going to filter down and down and down until they actually purchase it, which is which is the ultimate goal that we actually want. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.